Fire in the hole. Well, now the grafting season is buttoned up for another year. Finally getting a chance to get out here in the yard. I worked a whole, whole, whole day yesterday after we got that caddy down here. Um, I think we started that adventure along about 7.30, so that didn't take long. And uh, I, was, I was joking around with some people asking me about how far I drugged that thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, it, it's only about a, I don't know, a little less than a mile, I guess, that we pulled it. But, um, uh, anyway, it's not like we can really hurt anything, because it's going to be chopped up anyway. But, um, yeah, the yard's starting to look like somebody lives here a little bit. And I'm going to walk out here and show you around just a little bit. And... Tell you what's on the agenda today. Um, I'm going to have to do some trimming back here on this because it's hiding the band. I'll show you the band here in a second. Here's baby bird. He's pretty happy. But yeah, lupin is starting to bloom. Lupin is one of my one of my favorite little foo foo plants. I got my peony tied up yesterday. It was kind of laying over and. Uh, this is a pretty nice little island bed here, but look at that lupin. I like lupin. It must just be my foo-foo side. Anyway, the little uh, little hound dogs, little sports uh, playing duffer dog there, and the tennis player, and the baseball player back in there with his catcher's mitt. Uh, they're getting kind of covered up by this bush, and I uh, I can't think of what that's called right now. Is that a Wajilia? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, the band is back there. Um, and they're getting kind of hit out. So I think I'm going to chop this thing down and get it back in. Uh, rain it in just a little bit. But uh, uh, my ferns and hosses finally have taken off here. They were pretty ragged last year. But they're looking really nice this spring. There's Frederick Malcolm III. And his little house and his little porch light that lights up at night. Y'all have seen that. You've seen all this. A little, I believe these are called a Siberian iris. Pretty little things. And, of course, some other irises. And I have a lot of things planted out here that I grew in the greenhouse. And I'm so late this year because grafting season ran so late that I didn't get my garden beds planted. So I'm not even going to bother with it now. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put flowers out here instead of trying to do vegetables. I usually have potatoes in here and various things. I still may do some onions and I've got tomatoes. I will grow some tomatoes. Uh, I've got tomatoes actually on the plants because I started those in the greenhouse. Um, uh, this is called a, a walking stick kale. One of my friends from across the pond asked me about this a couple years ago or last year maybe. If I'd ever grown any, and this stuff gets so big that they actually can uh, let them harden off and make uh, walking sticks out of the stalk. So if I can get these to grow large enough, I'm going to send a couple of them to to my friend Stony, and back in I believe he's in Indiana. Not positive on that, but anyway, um, he's a wood carver. This is my gourd house, and I have gourds planted in these planter boxes and they grow up over that cover that and then hang down inside and so long neck dipper gourds get uh, really long in there and yeah I've got these boxes I was out here last night with my little tiller and, and got these boxes kind of tilled up and raked down and I'm gonna just go ahead and plant my flowers in there this um, uh, this tree needs to come out it's creating too much shade here and uh, I waited 20, almost 20 years for this little horse chestnut to, to bloom and turns out it's a white blossom instead of the pink one that I was hoping it would be. Uh, so I don't know, I may take that out too. 
Anyway, lots to do around here. Lots and lots. I'm transplanting a lot of things right now to get this bank filled up down there so it's not so ugly. Carrie's helping up there on the trail, cleaning up some limbs and brush that have fallen in the winter time. And um, I'm about to run up to Jack's and borrow his pressure washer. And today is the day. I'm gonna clean this pond, pressure wash it, pump it out, pump it down and put the fish in a, a box and uh, in a container and pressure wash the, all the trash, get all the trash out of it, get the waterfall going and it will be a beautiful thing and there is the golden chain tree in all its glory some more foo foo this is uh, i should dedicate this uh i should dedicate this video to shavaholic <laughs> i just won't i just won't let it go <laughs> oh we're just having fun we're just having fun this is a uh, climbing rose i planted last fall it's doing really well can't wait to see it bloom it's going to be yellow i think and i have another one over on this corner or no this is a clematis over here on this corner and my little picket fence has got roses on it this year i planted those last last spring and now they've taken off and they're going to bloom any day now at my elevation things are quite a lot quite a bit later than they are down in down in wenatchee downtown uh, this uh clematis is just outstanding it's uh trained it up on that old wooden orchard ladder but you can't even see the ladder anymore got my my little pulleys and buckets hung over there and hopefully those flowers will fill out and watch out for the mouse trap sparky anyway yeah hopefully things will fill out here pretty soon and maybe it'll start to look a little nicer my wisteria has already bloomed okay let's go get that pressure washer sad sad story this morning i'm very very sad by the way i got my planter boxes planted last night worked till about dark out here dark 30 i don't know but draining my pressure washer last fall somehow i failed to get all the water out of it and uh, i don't know what happened i've uh, never had any trouble before but went to fire it up this spring and the housing is cracked and it made me a very very sad grafter so um i gotta look into that and i don't know if i can patch it i doubt it with pressure on it uh probably can't patch it i don't know if i can get if it's a part i can replace it wasn't cheap uh, it was a pretty nice one so i'm kind of mourning the loss of my pressure washer this morning and i gotta go borrow one so uh get in sit down shut up and hang on let's go after these messages we'll be right